all-time grifters, yeah, and counterfeiters, too. You can't have me if you don't have him. It does two things, which is always economical. It shows Joe and Jerry's rapport as a song and dance duo, but it also is their autobiographical tale. Our house was full of hoofers, we were strictly SRO. You Can't Have Me really does show the, the foundation of our relationship between Joe and Jerry, and really expressing how much you really can't have one without the other. Like, we are peanut butter and jelly. We're bread and butter. We're that combination that you love. When I first heard You Can't Have Me, I thought this has to be a big tap number. And it has to be a big tap number to the guys because they're entertainers and they're hoofers and you get to see them really dance as a team. It's one of my favorite numbers in the show, absolutely. Because it just is a, it's just pure tap dancing and pure joy and also the two of them selling their talents. Working with Christian Borrell is like working with a sibling. We created such a trust and a bond that uh, with one look we can tell what each other are thinking and where we're going and what kind of day we're going to have together and it's really fun to have that kind of uh, grounded trust in another artist. Yeah, you can't have me if you don't have him. <laughs>